I'm going to fall asleep. Ready? Pull! What's up, FitFam? Welcome back to my channel. So excited to have you. Today is going to be the uh, fourth installment in the Women's Guide to the Weight Room. But we have a little bit of a problem. <laughs> so yesterday we had snow slash ice storm. I don't know if you'd call it a storm or not, but I guess this is what you get here in West Virginia. Everything that was wet and melting kind of overnight turned to ice and so I waited till a little bit later in the day, got sunny, ice started melting, made it to the gym, started stretching and the power went out. I am going to show you guys a few things but it's gonna be very limited because of the fact that I can't see inside the gym. I am at the front of the gym right now and basically it's all just the natural lighting is kind of what I'm going off of here. Um, today we're gonna work with dumbbells and I'm not gonna grab a whole bunch, just kind of the basics just to kind of introduce you to them. So let me go grab some stuff and I'll be right back. So I just grabbed one set of dumbbells. These are tens. Sorry, since the power went out, there's beeping going on in the back room. I, I, think, I think that's the camera system trying to like reboot itself, but nothing's working. If you are following a program and it calls for sitting, standing, laying, whatever, hopefully this will help you be able to determine why it's requesting said exercise or specific way to do something. If you remember um, last week when we did everything on the squat rack, the bar that you put on the squat rack, the big long one, that is the barbell. And so the difference between dumbbells versus that big long barbell is going to be you are able to focus on your specific muscle on that certain side with a dumbbell. I don't know if you've ever heard of muscle imbalance. Some people can get it, like me for example, because I had my knee surgery, I have severe muscle imbalances between my right and my left side. The size difference between my legs is pretty substantial and so it's beneficial to be able to do things single dumbbell, that way you can try and repair those muscle imbalances. Another benefit to being able to use the dumbbell versus like a barbell is you can pick lighter weights. So if you're just starting out, you have the variety of two pounds, five pounds, eight pounds, 10 pounds, 12 pounds, 15 pounds, and on up. Um, barbells generally are one size or what you're gonna find in your gym is going to be one size, if not maybe two sizes, if your gym is maybe a little bit bigger. Your basic Olympic barbell is 45 pounds, so that's going to be pretty much the standard across the board in majority of gyms. If that is all that is available to you, if you cannot lift the 45 pound barbell, then you're kind of missing out on all the benefits of being able to weight train because you physically can't lift it, you haven't gotten strong enough yet to lift the 45 pounds. Now, next I want to go over the benefit of uh, the different, we'll call it stances. So you have your standing, your laying, and then your seated. Let's say uh, your program, if you're following one, your program might call for something seated. So it's going to force you to engage your core and your back in order to stabilize yourself so you're sitting upright and then you're able to lift the weight you know, from your shoulders to maybe above your head or at your side to um, maybe just shoulder just parallel with your shoulders. If you are laying on like flat bench, the benefit from that is, is that you get a different angle. It's also going to force you to stabilize your core and your back again because you're laying flat and you have to use your legs to stabilize yourself nice and flat so that that way you're able to lift something off of you and then back down again. The very last one that we have is standing, which I'm a big fan of standing exercises because it's forcing me to use my legs to stabilize myself, keep myself balanced, and I can also put a little bit of bend in my knees. Let's say if you're like in choir class, for example, they tell you to bend your legs or your, bend your knees a little bit so that way you don't faint. You straighten your legs, you're more likely to just <laughs> pass out. Same thing kind of goes with weightlifting. If I keep a little bit of bend in my knee, it kind of just keeps things stabilized and 
standing the way I need to be in order to lift something heavy, maybe above my head. You're going to be stabilizing your, your core and your lower back. You're also using your legs for a little bit of leg drive. Okay, so now that we've kind of covered the basics, let's go ahead and do a few exercises with them. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is just a standing overhead press using the dumbbell. First thing you're gonna do is bring the dumbbells up to your shoulders and you're just going to press straight up and overhead. Make sure that you're engaging your core and your lower back. That way you notice on my side angle, I'm not leaning back, I'm not slouching forward, I'm not swaying with, with the dumbbells in my hand. And I'm, this is my starting point. I'm going straight up, straight back down. And when I bring it back down, it's going to end in the position that it started at. Yes, this is also the cropped hoodie that I got from my Zaffle haul. So if you haven't seen that, check it out. It turned out to be an awesome haul. Just give me two cents. Okay guys, we are back. We're gonna do seated bicep curls. That way you have um, something to reference on and kind of get an idea as to maybe what good form and what bad form looks like. We're gonna do bicep curls, not hammer curls. And the difference is going to be the direction that your dumbbells are facing. Some people may start with the dumbbells facing like this and then they turn them as they pull up, which that's totally okay, that's a bicep curl. But if you leave them pointed forward and you just come straight up, that's a hammer curl. We are just going to keep the dumbbells down at my side and I'm just going to pull them up to my shoulders and then straight back down. When you are doing this, you wanna make sure that you have a decent weight. So that way you're not going super heavy, but it's also not super light because you don't wanna just be like pounding these things out, not breaking a sweat, not feeling a burn, nothing like that. You want it to be challenging, but you don't want it to be so heavy that something like this happens and they're doing this number. So they're using a lot of their upper body to swing the dumbbells up. So they're actually not using the muscle to pull the weight up. They're just using the momentum of the swing. If it helps to pull maybe your shoulders back a little bit, maybe set them in place so that way you're not slouched over forward. You wanna make sure that you're keeping your core nice and tight. So you're nice and tight in the front and you're nice and straight in the back. And you wanna keep that same posture as you're going through the motion. The very last one that we're gonna do is a chest press using the flat bench. So with this exercise, you're gonna be laying completely flat. If you remember last week's video where we went over the squat rack, we can use the flat bench in the squat rack to pretty much accomplish the same goal. The only difference is that we're using dumbbells versus the barbell. So what you're gonna do is if your weight is a little bit on the heavier side, I like to keep them on my knees. That way when I go to lay back, I can bring them with me. It's going to be extremely painful if you're hanging the weights down to your side and then you try and hoist them up after you're already laying down. And then I just put them into place. So imagine me laying flat on my back. I bring the dumbbells up and I put them pretty much in front of my shoulders like so. And so this is how I'm laying down. So they're at my shoulders and then I'm pushing straight up to the top and then dropping it right back down. The power just came back on. I guess that means I have to work out. <laughs> All right guys, since the power just came back on, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my workout. That way I can head home in case the weather gets bad again but I'm so excited that you could join me today. I hope these are helping you. Please be sure to comment below if you have any specific questions. I am happy to help. And don't forget to subscribe to my videos. That way you can be the first to know anytime one comes up. I will catch you next time, guys. Bye.